It is not the prettiest part of the UK capital, but welcome nevertheless to this boundary between Central and East London, Silicon Roundabout, also known as Tech City. Over the past five years or so, this unassuming area has seen an explosion in technology-based businesses. Cisco, Facebook, Google and Intel are the big names investing, but there are thought to be several thousand smaller startups as well in the cluster. Local and national government have got in on the act, with both Mayor of London Boris Johnson and Prime Minister David Cameron, champions of Tech City. There have been promises of investment and redevelopment. Industry ambassadors to tempt in further businesses and make London the tech capital of the world. With a growing understanding of knowledge as an economic driver, this is increasingly how destinations are marketing themselves. They're reaching out to the sectors in which they already have a track record, aligning the business they're targeting with the economic and academic strengths they already enjoy. Of course, other high-tech clusters are also available, from the original Silicon Valley in San Francisco to Silicon Alley in New York City and Silicon Welly in Wellington, New Zealand. Even in the UK, there's also Silicon Fen around Cambridge and Silicon Glen across central Scotland. And beyond high-tech, there's biotech, medical and pharmaceutical, aerospace, energy and engineering, lots of different sectors and lots of different places almost getting hard to know exactly what's going on and where. So wouldn't it be useful if there was a definitive guide to destinations around the world that focused first and foremost on their knowledge sectors and capabilities? Wouldn't it be great if we could easily find out where and what all this valuable knowledge actually is? Intellectual Capitals is aiming to be this new resource. If you like, a knowledge hub of knowledge hubs. We'll be visiting and hearing from different destinations around the world, not from the point of view of their tourist attractions or of their meetings and events infrastructure, but in terms of their knowledge sectors. What's going to be the best fit for organisers of specific meetings and events, for investors in similar area companies, and indeed for any business or individual in a matching industry looking for the right place from which to operate and grow? With online print and video on both the iOS and Android platforms, we're aiming to find out what destinations are thriving, what they're thriving in, and which cities truly are intellectual capitals. It's going to be quite a journey. Why don't you join us?